Hi everybody, Jo here. Thanks for popping in today. I just thought I'd come in and have a little catch up with you. Not seeing you for a few days, so I thought it was about time we got together. What I'm going to do today is, um, I'm going to see a friend later and it's a birthday and I've got some flowers for her. So I'm going to make myself a tag to go on the flowers. And I thought, do you know what, while I'm in my craft room making it, we could have a little catch up. You can get yourself a brew, one of them nice cheeky biscuits, and um, and we can create. So I haven't got a finished product to show you because we're actually going to make it together live. You're going to see the way, I think. That might not be a good thing, might be a bad thing, who knows? <laughs> Coming inside my head. So you're not only inside my craft room, you're going to be inside my head. Now I'm going to start off with, I love these tags that are made out of whiteboard, sort of like a nice sort of thick cardboard, but I love this white coating on it. It takes ink so well. Um, they come in different sizes and do you know what? Really, really useful. I love using them. And because I'm going to my friends later, um, I haven't got that much time to make a tag. But you know when you want to put something personal, I sent her a card when it was a birthday and today's just a little follow-up, a little catch-up. So it's nice to put something personal on the flowers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use pumice stone. Now, as you know, I love this colour. It's one of those colours that we tend not to use a lot, but it's very useful. Um, and I'm going to do that direct to paper technique that we do so much. Now, quite often we've done this to make that wood effect. I'm not particularly going for the wood effect this time. I'm really just thinking I want to get a little bit of colour, a little bit of background on my tag. And I thought I'd go for these sorts of, I love this colour, this, well, pumice stone sort of colour. Now, I want to add a hint of orange to this. So I'm thinking my spice marmalade will just, if I just come in like this, look, I don't want to add too much. And then what I'm thinking is, if I just blend this, it's a bit bright for me there. So I'm thinking if I just come in with my sponge and blend it out a bit, and I can always add a little bit more pumice stone, I think, if I need. I like that. Maybe a bit more brown. What do you think? Hmm. No, I think I might just bring in a bit more pumice stone. Almost dull. That. Yeah. I like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? Now, what I'm thinking is just going to add a little bit it's on my sponge around the back because my back is the back of I don't know if what you're like but the back of my work always gets covered in ink so if I just add a little bit of the orange that's on my sponge and then I can write I'll probably put a nice um matte a nice piece of white card on there I think that'll be nice and put my message on so let's just put a bit more down the sides I think that'll just yeah, I'm liking that as a background. Let's just give that a wipe. And again, very quick background. As you know, I love doing this for cards, for tags. And sometimes I think, we, you know, we don't need a lot. And that's just such a nice way to add colour. A lot of um, crafters I know are worried about blending. So for me, this is just such a quick, easy way. Now the stamp I'm going to use, it's um, from this new stamp set. Now I know a lot of um, a lot of you have messaged me and asked. Now these were available on the craft store, but I don't think the stockists have got them yet. But just you know, bear with us. I'm sure Abs is getting them onto the stockists as soon as he can. Um, so this is five two nine, and it's called In the Wild by Bipasha. I think it's one of those ones to make a note of, and as soon as they get it, um, maybe get it then. And what I'm thinking is, again, because we've got the acetate, I had a quick look. And I reckon that often we tend not to use big images. Often, I think when we use a small tag, we'd go small images. But I'm thinking for a background, I'm thinking a big image look. And even if it doesn't all stamp, it's going to be more in the background. So that's my theory. 
and I'm going to come in with black. Often I like to use larger images and again remember you can we can just let's go I want to get those ink splats in right we're going to go for that you know you don't have to have the whole of the image I think sometimes we forget that we, we tend to overlook larger stamps when we're using smaller tags and again with this just being the background we can almost I think it probably I, would look nice in brown I, th I mean I'm liking the idea of this and I'm thinking maybe I can do a card design next but using all vintages and using my um my acorn my brown um ink to stamp it with and actually doing a full vintage card I think that would be nice now I like that I think that I think that's worked really well don't you look at that almost looks like it's one of those old old drawings doesn't it now i wasn't going to add any color but i'm thinking it's almost crying out for just a little bit so let's just put a bit of the uh, burning bonfire on my mat pick up some and i'm just don't want to add too much because i just wanted this to be the background but i think it is crying out just for a little bit and we've already got ink on here so it's almost going to sink in which is what I want I don't want it to be all sort of perfect I just want to add a little bit of colour in there like I say I don't want it to be too in your face and I'm thinking let's go a bit of brown in the middle and and to be honest, this is the way this is the way I tend to work. Um, and I'm just having a little play by adding, and not a lot. I don't want, you know, I don't want it to be full. I'm not spending ages. This isn't one where I'm going to colour it properly, watercolour all of it. I just want that idea of a little bit more colour on certain areas. But I love the way it almost absorbs into it. I'll just go a little bit darker there and some areas I'm just going over again because it'll be darker even though I'm putting the same colour on because I'm putting my second layer it's going to be darker now I don't think I want any more than that I like that I think that's so subtle really pretty Ooh. so we'll mop that up again might only be doing a little project, but got to keep it nice and tidy. Now, what I have got is a butterfly that I'd already stamped. And I know you're going to ask me. So this is from another stamp set of Bipashas. And this is 532 Safari. But I love this butterfly. And I must admit, I have quite a few. It is funny. I don't know about you, but when I'm doing projects, I stamp things out extra times. I mean, I've actually got, look at this from a card I did recently for one of my um, my friends, Albert. Um, I've got a spare pair. I, I, when I was stamping the binoculars, I just stamped a spare pair out. And they're on my desk. So I do tend to keep these odd things. But what I'm wondering is if that would look lovely decoupaged on there. And I've also got best wishes that I want to add. So, and I've got some string. So let's put the string in first at the top and then we can work out what we're... Because I did think I might put some string around the bottom. But I don't want to overdo it. I almost love that image so much i don't want to cover it all up so while i'm just putting my string through how are you keeping i hope you're keeping okay i hope things are looking a bit brighter for you i know a lot of people especially here in the uk you're managing to see friends and family again which is nice i think that's always a bonus I like garden twine. I just think it goes with that. So, do we want some? Now a nice little bow. I think she might like that. Let's just, and again, to make your bow, you all know this, don't you? Make your two ears 
one in front of the other, pop it round, pull, and you've got a nice, easy, quick bow. And again, you can vary the size, look. So I'm thinking, if we put that there, we can have the butterfly. Mm -hmm. Choices. I'm going to pop that on my scissors so I can... Now, you see, I could have best wishes up there. Oh, let's cut it in two. Let's have best wishes up there. And then the butterfly, yeah. So I think wishes be nice there. And best just there, I think. Oh, I'm dying. I need to put the butterfly on. I like the butterfly, but I think it looks quite nice without, doesn't it? Oh no, what about the butterfly up there? What about... I love these little button covers. Let's have a think. Mmm. I think it would spoil it putting one of those on. Save those for another project. Do you do this at home? Do you get... I tell you what, this bit, the almost like the faffing bit, seems to take me longer. So what I think I'll do is we'll get our white Posca, which seems to have eluded me. We'll put a couple of... enough of those and then good old pin flare where's our bow gone I just need a little bit on the back of that so that's gonna go on there and then right decisions decisions Ooh. See, it's such a lovely image, but no, I like the butterfly there. Yep, after all, the, I have to remember, the flora was just in the background, wasn't it? <laughs> so funny. Like I say, it takes me longer doing these, these faffing bits. So we're going to put the butterfly there so we can still read best wishes. Yes, I like that. Right, let's pop our pin flare up and then it doesn't dry out. Move this lot to the side. Do you do that? Psh, that crafters, when we want a tidy space, we just do that crafters shimmy, don't we? Where we just... Psh. And I'm happy with that. I, th I think she'll love that. And just to go, as I say, it's just going to go. I'm going to put that on, write a nice message on the back. And that's going to go with the lovely bunch of flowers that I've got her. And I think... She'll absolutely love that. Last little thing, I'm just thinking, I'm going to add a bit of stickles. So I'm just going to put that on and then get myself my paintbrush. I've got a stickles paintbrush. And I'm just going to paint that on. I think it will just look nice with just a little bit of, little bit of a, uh, shimmer on it we'll put a little bit on there right walk away missus so i hope you've enjoyed that as i say what a quick catch up today but i did need to be quick need to go and get myself ready and then off to visit abby so you take care thanks as always for popping in um, I'll try and pop in again in the next few days, maybe spend a bit longer together. I bet you've hardly had time to finish your brew, have you? Anyway, you take care. I hope you have a lovely weekend. I hope you're doing something nice. And you know what? If, if you're somebody who is on your own and, you know, you, you haven't got friends to pop out and see, um, maybe just pop in and watch a little video. Maybe make yourself, as I say, a nice drink. Get yourself something nice to eat and do something nice for you. Have you got a nice book you can read? 
just you take care. Take five minutes out for yourself. It's always important to do that, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for joining me as always. Much love and hugs. Bye for now.